So today we are looking at Prime Icon Zambrotta. 5 foot 11, high medium, right footed, 4 star skill, 5 star weak foot. Can play it right back or left back or right wing back. It's got really good stats overall. Fantastic acceleration and sprint speed. Really good shot power for a right back. Great composure, great passing in terms of short pass and long pass. Okay, agility and balance. In terms of traits, just dives into tackles. And you can see here... He's one of an interesting card. There's rumors he's coming out of an SBC. I just wanted to show you something quickly. I actually do use his World Cup card. They are very, very similar to their minus ones. Pretty much all stats. So we are going to be comparing him to his World Cup card and see how we get on. We'll have a word from today's sponsor and then we'll jump into some gameplay. Are you tired of playing sweat teams like this? Make sure you go to Alt Nice, select Foot, select Foot 23 coins, choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy, select your payment method, and don't forget to add code NANIC for 6% off on all orders. So here's our opponent's team. We are playing in Foot Champs playoffs. With Zambro, we're playing in our 4 triple two system, and his main job is to defend and push forward. I like to push forward with my right backs. And I like them to be able to defend and, of course, pass out. Something I find with World Cup Zambrotta in particular is his passing is fantastic. His defending when he's in the right position is absolutely outstanding. But I've noticed if someone does a top ball or through ball over the top and he's the wrong way, a little bit difficult to uh, recover from. But you can see here with the prime, very, very fast, good movement. Feels very quick on the ball, good little pass out. Something I like about Zambrotta is he's left footed or right footed, it doesn't matter. Very quick going into the space. Fortunately, a poor shot from us. We do pick up the rebound. Reset the attack. Gives Zambro to overlap into that space. First time cross. It's a good cross. Can we get on the end of it? Not quite. But you can see there how we're going to be playing him in attacking terms. As our opponent has now decided to go down the left-hand side. And that's how we're going to be using Zambro today. Something I really like about Zambro in particular is when he picks the ball up here, you can do a little one-two into the space, and then you can drive forward. And because he's got the good strength on him, he can hold off tackles, create spaces, as well as drive in. Good little overlap. Sam Brotter with a great pass. And that is something I do with my right back all the time. And this is what I like about Sam Brotter in particular. Because of that high composure and high short pass, he can do those one-twos and cutbacks no problem. It's the only problem you have with him if you get caught out. So let's say I did that movement there. And our opponent intercepted the pass. His recovery speed at times isn't the quickest. But so far, not noticing a problem. So like here, for example, we're going to try with the tackle. He's going to try and drive away from him. Now Zambro is here with a one-on-one. -on -one. Good interception. Doesn't win the ball completely, though. And again, Zambro just shutting that pace off. And lovely defense. Now we can drive out of him. And this is where he really strives. You can see there the pace of him. Trying to use that left foot. Great left foot pass. I'm very lucky I was getting through. But you can see there the left foot or right foot passing doesn't make a difference at all. This is where he struggles. I know I could have swapped defenders. So I just want to show you his recovery speed. Luckily for us, our opponent decided to stop attacking. But we managed to bury that out. But that's something you need to be careful with. Especially if you're going to push him up. Is his recovery speed. I don't know why he's so slow. I'm guessing it's down to the body type or bad coding from EA. I can't quite decide. Now I've got the overlap though. So I brought it there. Drive in. Again, great pass and a good block. And now he's got to recover back. Bro here, waiting for that through ball down the line. But managed to block off the pass and slow him down. Now we can drive forward. Good movement here. So I'm brought out wide. A little touch in again. Great pass and again, so unlucky not to have another assist. So I'm brought her into that space. Take a little touch in. Managed to get past. Now got the through ball. What a pass. Ah, oh, again, so lucky not to get a goal from You can see his passing ability is second to none, though. Driving. Zambro is trying to overlap here. We can find him. Ah, oh, tried to do a left foot shot. Very unlucky. Managed to keep the ball off, though. Good pass in. Nowhere to go, but the ball's going to go out for a corner. We will have a look at his set pieces to see how good he is at them. I'm pretty sure he's okay. I can't remember from the top of my head with the World Cup card how good he is. So... He's terrible, so ignore me of every single thing I've just said there. Again, driving down Zambrotta. Little one, two inside. Use him as a dummy run. Perfectly rated. And we get a goal, and you don't always have to pass the ball for a player to make an impact. You can see there, we use Zambrotta as a dummy run to open up the space on the inside. Because we've been forcing that ball down the right-hand side, our opponent automatically assume we're going to pass it to Zambrotta. We used him as a fake run and managed to get ourselves another goal. So I brought here. 
Been caught out trying to recover speed. That's much better. And that's a good recovery there. If you know you're going to recover quick enough, or you know that you're going to make the missed tackle and you're going to recover, that's where he's great. If you're not 100% sure, like here, he needs to get out a little bit quicker. Get a good turn around, not a problem. Just fox him in. Good defending. Great defending. Nowhere to go. And again, fantastic presence and position in there. Right here. Good defense. Use that strength. Take a heavy touch. Pass it out, and then we've got ourselves underway on a counter-attack again. Some really good defending. Can we get one more goal just before half-time? Sam Brotter at the top. Got Jarzinho, uh, Ronaldinho, sorry. And again, a fact, I can't say it enough. His passing is unbelievable. You see there, he shepherded the attacker, picked up the ball. One, two, from his own corner, all the way up. One through ball into Ronaldinho, and we've got ourselves two assists with him. Really, really good card. Like I said, if you play a deep defensive line or if you play attacking with your right back or left back, he's going to slot straight into your team really, really well. He's just those moments. Sometimes he doesn't win every header and he is a little bit weak at times. Not all the time, but at times. That's the only negatives I have. His passing, his dribbling, his skill moves, his weak foot are all fantastic. Like this situation here, he absolutely strives. We can see here, bit of skill gets passed. Little layoff with the left foot and another assist there. And if you want to do skill moves and if you want to pass and move and use him as an attacking unit, he is ridiculous in that situation. You can see there we did the um, directional hill to hill with a left footed layoff onto Mbappe to tuck that away. And that is now, again, a hat trick of assists for him and possibly a raise quit in foot chance we shall see. And I'm just overall, really, really good card. I don't know if he's worth 600,000 coins, though. We'll have to discuss that on foot bin at the end. So our opponent's given up, basically refusing to attack. So we're just going to go jump onto Footbin now. So we are on Footbin. You can see here, 620,000 coins at the moment. There's a rumor of SBC coming out, and I don't know how much that is of recording. But I wanted to just to show you something quickly. So let's say the SBC does come out and his price is really good value. You have to decide if you want to buy him off the market or complete the SBC. I know a lot of you are going to be going complete the SBC, and this could affect his price. But just quickly, ignoring all that, if you compare him to his World Cup card, yes, they're minus ones and minus twos on certain statistics. But he's almost 200,000 coins cheaper. And I've used this card so much in FIFA that I basically know him at the back of my hand. Very, very lucky to get him from when the promo came out in a couple packs that I'd saved. And I will say there is barely any difference. If, if anything, no difference at all. Their work rates are the same. Their weak foots are the same. Their skill moves are the same. You're only paying for plus ones, which you can get from basically having a basic chem style or any other chem style you want. As you can see here, plus twos, plus threes. If you were to have the World Cup card with a basic chem style on, he's going to also have plus twos, plus threes, which then essentially makes him the same as the World Cup card. So it depends how you want to look at it. I don't normally go for basic. I wouldn't suggest basic, but I'm just using that as an example. So that being said, let's get into what I think of the prime. So... SVC comes out, let's say the SVC is around 500,000 coins. I think that's good value. If you don't have a right back or a left back and you're really struggling to decide which to go for or who to take, you've got a lot of fodder in your club or the SVC is out for like uh, two months or something crazy like that, complete Zambra. Play him as a left back if you need a left back. He has no problem there. Because of that five-star weak foot, there is no difference between his left foot and his right foot. If you need a right back, the exact same conversation. Really, really good. If you find yourself being more defensive than attacking like I was in today's review, and then I'd highly recommend that you play a little bit deeper. Drop your depth down and don't push forward with him because if a through ball goes over the top, Zambrotta does struggle at times to turn around and run back to defend it. If he's already defending it or already running back, 9 out of 10 times he wins. If he has to turn around and recover, you're looking at like a 50-50 chance he'll overtake and tackle. And again, I don't know why this is. Maybe it's down to his body build being average. But he has really good strength for a right back who's 5 foot 11. Good acceleration and great sprint speed. But it just seems to be something about the card that's coded. In terms of chem styles, I actually had an anchor on it because I usually go for a shadow. And I do think anchor is a better choice if you're on new gen because of the lengthy meta or lengthy being much better for defenders. It means he gets quicker over time. So going back to that through ball conversation about going over the top. He does recover quicker, or quicker, sorry, with the anchor. So I am tempted to change my World Cup one to anchor because I did have a shadow. If you're on old gen, go for shadow. There's no, there's no argument there. Shadow, it just makes him into a 93 right back, and he's just overall all left back, and he just overall dominates the absolute 
madness of the side. Especially attacking, you can see there, two or three assists in that game. With his left foot, his right foot, even doing skill moves to get out of situations. He's just that good. As always, do you have any more questions about this card or any other card, comment down below. If you're new to the channel, I do a lot of icon reviews. I think I've done about 60 plus prime icon reviews. There will be a playlist, so make sure you check that out on the community tab. As well as how to grind packs, opening packs, and much more. So if that sounds good and you like FIFA content, smash that like button and subscribe. And I'll hopefully catch you in the next video. See ya.